Hello, and welcome to Let's Play XCOM. When we, when, when we last left our heroes, they were on the ice planet Hoth, contemplating whether or not to starve to death or eat their friends. Um, thankfully, we arrived at a third solution, which was explore the surrounding area for aliens, kill and eat them for warmth, and sleep within their corpses, like Luke Skywalker did with the Tauntaun. Um, so that is our plan. We are going to implement it. Um, nobody really knows why we're not just going to hang out in the Sky Ranger where it's toasty and warm, but that's how these things go sometimes. Who are we to argue? So I'm glad we got to see the snow. This can be a rare occurrence. Some people make it through an entire game of XCOM without seeing the snow, um, which is a shame because it's very white, and as we know, I'm racist. And as a racist person, I like white things. I'm all about the white. White meat, white people, white um, snow. Snow is white. That's a that's a fairly obvious truth. But you'd be surprised. So I don't see any aliens. Snow is a fun place to fight because it's just flat. <laughs> There's nothing going on. There's shit shit going on, and it's floaters again. Great. I'm just tired of these guys. I'm just shooting with the tank. I don't, I don't give a fuck. This is a... If this is an alien abduction ship, I'm gonna be very surprised, because they landed in the middle of fucking nowhere. Nothing to abduct. Where are you, Woodstock, and why aren't you moving? You're stuck in the Sky Ranger, because these people are blocking it. Um, we'll find out what these aliens were planning on doing later when we've killed them all. Yeah! Killed or captured. I don't really need to capture any of them. Oh, we should save the game. So there's gonna be a lot of floaters. Um, remember last time we killed ten floaters out of eleven on the ship. One of them had been killed when it was shot down. And this time it wasn't shot down, so I suspect there will be eleven floaters, and we will use this information to our advantage by keeping a kill count as we destroy each and every floater. Did I already kill one? Did I fuck up the kill count already? Yes, one. Okay, one. Remember with me. We are at one out of eleven. That means ten floaters remain to be destroyed. And where are you? There you are. Okay, somebody shoot. Hey, Garvin Warrior, you're up. <coughs> Push. <coughs> So I can't remember where we are. I think we're in Iceland or Greenland or something. No, we're not in Iceland. Iceland is too small. Um, could be in Finland. I don't know. Um, we'll have to check after this if I remember where the uh, alien landed and why they showed so much interest in this barren, inhospitable location. Ten... Nine? Nine aliens remaining to destroy. And I'm feeling good. I feel good. Do 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 do. Whoop. We know what to do about this, don't we? Turn the guns on them. No mercy. Take no prisoners. Unless the person with the stun launcher hits them. In which case, probably a good idea to take prisoners. Don't want to just leave the alien there so they can wake up and kill somebody later. Nine aliens. Nine aliens remaining until we all get to go home and have some hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. I'm looking forward to the hot chocolate. Are you guys? Nine. Eight. Eight aliens left. Eight nefarious death dealers from... from... We don't know where they're from yet. We haven't yet to discover the alien... Fuck! We have yet to discover the alien home base, but we think it's in our solar system. One alien? See, I'm just motoring around with this thing all the time just to find the people. Um, so let's shoot this guy. Um, what are we at, eight? I'm gonna have to count the corpses again. 
Oof, I'm a bad, bad commander. I can't even keep track of simple numbers. I was thinking about keeping like a tally mark thing. I have a piece of paper. I'm gonna do that. Here's a pen. Can you hear the pen? Clicky, clicky noises from the pen right next to the microphone. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, four. So eleven minus four is seven. So seven on the piece of paper. Good, good. Keeping track of the dead aliens. I'm on top of this. I got my shit together. So remember, we did not shoot this uh, thing down, so we're going to have to go in through the door. And if you recall, the only door is on sort of this side of the ship. So here we go. Sneaking around the side, trudging through the snow, uh, going down the highway, looking for adventure, or whatever comes my way. And I can never remember anything that comes after in that song. And if I sing it too well, YouTube will hit me with copyright infringement. But I think we can all agree there's not much worry of that happening. So Plasma Tank, um, by the way, if you're wondering, has not taken any damage because the armor is fucking great. We only the nicest armor for the Plasma Tank. We have applied what we've learned about alien stuff, and um, it has paid off with some pretty gas gear. So here we go. Trying to get some people, line them in up, line them up for the shots on this thing. Yes, down to six aliens, we think. I'm actually not sure if it's always the same number per UFO. But, uh, there's nothing like false confidence to keep you going in the cold, harsh tundra of Siberia or whatever the heck. Well, I hit that button on accident, but might as well save the game while I'm here. Um, nothing like false confidence to keep us going. Speaking of cold, harsh tundras tra and Siberia, mostly. Really, speaking of Siberia, the cold, harsh tundras can go um, suck a dick. Um, Trans-Siberian, that's a fairly good movie. It's got Woody Harrelson in it. He's, he's fun to watch for whatever reason. It's not an amazing movie. It's a good movie. So here we go, that's the door, and once we are through that door, the hover tank plasma is going to be relegated to scouting duty, because obviously it can't come through the door, so it's just going to check the rest of the map for us. Oh, hello. Somebody's there. So for now, the hover tank's just going to um, sit outside the UFO and wait for people to come out until all my men are in position. All my men and women are in position. And then once they are... Um, the hover tank will be dispatched to greener pastures, but there are no green pastures here. Just more ice pastures and snow pastures. So I don't know, did I... I think I started a lecture about how it was to fight in these snowy environments, but then it got cut off by something, so... Anyways, yeah, fighting in these snowy environments is neat, because there's obviously no buildings, um, and there's no walls or anything. There's a tiny bit of cover. You get these hills which sort of count, and then you get these... What are these? These are these are frozen solar power collectors is really what they look like. Um <laughs> they're giant frozen bucktooth sculptures. I don't know. Whatever they are, they're there, so you can hide behind those. And you do have some impassable terrain, which is kinda interesting. The water's impassable, but you obviously can't hide about it, hide behind it, so that's kind of new. But um uh oh. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, nice. Nice shooting text. Whoop. Five five aliens remaining, perhaps? So, um, I find the ice levels pretty fun to fight on, um, because you have to worry about, um, not as much worry about sneaking, aliens sneaking up on them, you just have to worry about them sort of shooting at you, so it's a very simple tactical decision, uh, procedure. So yeah, um, and that's what we're seeing going on right now. We just It's pretty easy to cut down the aliens once you have flying suits and good armor and um, you're fighting floaters, because floaters are just not... they're just not bringing their A-game. They're not uh, the best the aliens have to offer. We'll see the best the aliens have to offer at some point, unless I'm just so good that I beat the game before that, but I think if it looks like we're going to do that, I'm going to drag the game out, because what fun is a let's play of XCOM if it's just Tycho fucking kicking alien teeth in? Because that's ridiculous. That's not how XCOM is played. You know what? Someone could grab this Illyrium. I have a feeling it's a good luck charm. Um, so, what good is just playing XCOM if you win? 
with no problem. That's ridiculous. So we're going to see at least an alien base assault. I'll let that happen. And maybe they'll hit our base too. That would be bad, but you know, it'd be fun to watch. Um, so moving in on the aliens. And we think there's five left. And at least one of those five is potentially running around like a madman inside this little tiny room. And we're just going to have people spread out all over, aren't we? This alien's in deep doo-doo. Deep, deep doo-doo. Um, but don't go there. Go down. Good. And you can get over here. Can't quite make it whatever. You can get over here. I can. I have this like 360 degree all area coverage is like Ender's Game or something. You have to think in all the dimensions at once. And this alien is fucked up more ways than he can count in three dimensions. And so, sensibly, it seems like he's going around inside uh, the UFO rather than coming outside to play. So let's send the plasma tank out. You have expired your usefulness. You're going to scout over here. Can't see anything. That's great. Next. So, Mr. Stun, dude, is not very useful. Maybe you should have been the one to get the Illyrium. Whatever. You don't need to reserve any shots. You should stick the Illyrium in your backpack, though. That's going to make your accuracy worse if you're holding that thing. So, here we go. I think... Well, no, we don't have enough people clustered around, because even though we do, they're not properly positioned. you got to get everybody in the perfect locations just waiting for the alien to come out. And this is actually kind of too tight of a grouping, but I'll let it fly for now. Because I'm not expecting too much to worry about. Actually, if there's five aliens left, this could get ugly. We'll find out. Okay, quick, get inside the UFO before things get ugly. Pokey goes first. Oh, looks like it's empty. The vestibule is empty. And this is nice because there's only one entrance to this vestibule. So, clearly better than having to worry about multiple entrances. And you guys can land. And things are looking pretty hunky-dory, if I do so, so myself. So very wonderful, yeah? Wonderbar. Do-do-do-do-do. Do-do-do-do-do. Are you ready to kick the crap out of the aliens in here? I sure am. Open the door. Hello. You know what? This will be your first kill, I think. Great. And alien bagel room looks clear. But just for safety's sake, we'll move out. And save the game. Don't want anything crushing. And here comes Horus Hero, here to save the day. Just kidding, we don't need you. Where's the tank? Um, tank, 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 tank. Tank is really, really useless now. There's just nothing for it to do. Ooh, I can scout up here. Okay, next. Hmm. Here you go again. And you know what? Let's see if you can repeat your amazing success. Well, that's. That's the donut table wiped out, but... Oh, it's the bagel table wiped out. But whatever. Okay, try that again. Oh, shit, I haven't been keeping track. Five, four, three? I think we're down to three? Let's say. Excellent. All right, and once again, um, minimal number of doors. Looks like just one door. I've blown out this wall before, so I guess it's just one door. I'm beginning to think there is also an elevator here, but we blew it up when we shot that last UFO down. But so now I do have to potentially worry about two sides. So I have to keep that in mind. But for this room, we only have to worry about one side. So that's good. And it makes it easy for me to move in all my XCOM operatives and get them all wonderfully set up. So I don't think I have anything to add to the bagel rant from either last episode or the episode before. Whoop! Hello! Hello! Whoop! Whoop! This happens. Okay, um, two, and you're dead, whoever you are. Well, you had a good run. That's how XCOM works. 
dead people, live people. We've killed a lot of aliens. You gotta, you gotta deal with losses. This is one of the things I, um, ever since they announced the new XCOM game, I just thought was bad because the maximum squad size is that in that is six. You can only bring six people, and you see me running around with like ten people. This is not <laughs> my maximum squad size. That Avenger can fit twenty-six people. So, um, yeah, maximum squad size gets pretty big in this XCOM. So you see, someone can just walk in, a floater can walk in and kill whoever was standing here. And, um, you know, it's bad. I wish you weren't dead. But, um, you know, I can keep going. I have nine more people. The new XCOM, it seems like it's harder for them to just wipe one of your squad members out because you only have six, so the missions have to either be balanced around, like, either you can do them with a few amount of people or it's harder to lose people, or losing people doesn't matter. I'm not sure how they balance that, but whatever. People seem to really like the new XCOM. So, um, my game crashed right at the end of that turn, because that was an alien, um, that was during the alien turn, I killed it, so it immediately, and it, blah blah blah. I'm not sure if I, it caught my last thought. I was wondering how the new XCOM works, um, when your people when you only have six people. Anyways, uh, so we lost one XCOM agent. We did kill ten aliens. There were not eleven, so I was counting wrong. Um, we got two power sources, five navigations, and importantly, 70 alloys and 100 lyrium. That's great stuff. Um, so we can actually... Oh, hmm. Okay. Let's purchase... Um, electro flares. Twenty. Five. They're cheap. Fifteen hundred bucks. And are the electro flares gonna? Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop! It took off. So electro flares. Oh, it's still rearming. It got damaged in that last fight, so I can't intercept. I'm down an interceptor. Whoa! Hello. It's landed. Okay. 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 You want it? You want it? We'll take you on. Oh, we need to. We're down a soldier, aren't we? Cause somebody died. Better recruit somebody. Probably not going to have time to load up this recruit. So let's actually sell some of this crap we don't need. Um, we don't need any of these corpses. Why am I Why am I keeping these corpses? I don't need you. And I don't need you. Great. Um, how is our storage looking? Very good. Okay. Um... Save the game. And so Electro Flares are basically just what they sound like. They're like glow sticks. Um, and those are for night missions. But it looks like we can take this on in the day. All right. Intercept. Quick turnaround here at XCOM. Down to nine people, but that's okay. We'll do it anyways. Another medium UFO, I believe. Here we go. So... I don't think we really need the stun rods so much. Maybe just grenades from now on. We're going we're going with a lethal policy, I think. Maybe some people will keep stun rods, but others will go with grenades. Hey, you know, it wouldn't hurt you to have some lethal capacities too. You don't have to be a pacifist. Just with that stun bomb launcher. You'll keep a stun rod. Why not? Okay, cool. Let's do it. Um, and I forgot to look up where that last thing was landed, whether Iceland or whatever. So we're in a corner. Looks like there's an item here and an item here. Or something. I don't know. Oh, yes, there is. Some purple thing. I don't know. Alarium. Good luck charm. That didn't seem to work last time. Somebody died. Whatever. And the question is, what kind of aliens are on the ship? I'm going to guess floaters, right? The last one was a floater ship. And they seem to be sort of traveling as a pack, doing sort of similar things. Yep, floaters. So let's figure on 10 or 11, and let's keep trying again. So we're down to 10 over 9. Keep track at home, kids. See if your numbers match up with mine. We can be mathletes. Mathcom agents. XCOM teaches math. If there are six floaters in the UFO, and they have brutally murdered three XCOM agents, and you have 12 XCOM agents in the plane, how likely is Japan to pull funding from you 
given that you ignored a terror mission in Tokyo on the 16th of May. Please phrase your answer in the form of a question in meters per second. So XCOM, I think, would be a good educational game. Don't you think this would be a good educational game for children to learn at school how to fight aliens? Because I'm going to level with you. If aliens invade, I don't think we would be ready. I just honestly don't think that we have the plasma tanks it would take to combat the uh, alien menace should it ever become apparent that there is an alien menace. And I think there's no question that it may become someday apparent that there is an alien menace. Um, if only because it's happened in the movies. So it's really happened 80% of the way already. It just has to be real now. That was a good shot. That was a very good shot. I think Count Electric is going places. Um, Count Electric would maybe go more places if Count Electric would refrain from firing these final two shots, but everything can't be perfect now, can it? Can it count electric? So we do have an alien up in the second floor. Um, can't really see it through the window, though. Uh, I want to do something about it, but I feel fairly protected because um, it, can't, it can't shoot out the second floor, except for the windows, right? There's a window here, but um, I'm fairly protected, I think, because... Whatever. Y'all, Hikar and Warrior will watch that window. The rest of you are going to go up, up, and away. I hope these roofs can support your weight. You probably weigh like... Pre I don't know. What does this armor weigh? It can fly, so... That doesn't really tell you anything, because it's got very powerful anti-gravity boosters or whatever, so maybe it doesn't... Maybe it weighs a lot, but it can fly with any amount of weight. Who knows? So I'm being very cavalier about this alien in the building. Um, like I said, he can only shoot me through a very limited space, so I think I'll be cool. Uh, you move out this way. Hello. So let's save the game so no shenanigans happen. Can you see the alien? No. Oh, you can maybe see the alien. You can go upstairs and look through the window. How much is that alien in the window? In the window. It dead. Okay, down to uh, nine or eight aliens. So that's good. Um, I don't know where they are. There might be some more in this barn. There's definitely some in the UFO and maybe some over here. So let's try over here. And you're going to check in the barn. Nope. You're going to check in the barn. Nope. Looks clear ish. You can sort of check over there. Um, and the rest of you are s gonna start heading down this way, because that's where the alien's at. All the aliens. Move, move, my people. So let's send the hover tank into this corner and investigate. Wow, that was a mistake. I used up all its time units. Should have saved a bit for sort of turning around and looking around and maybe landing. Here we go. What are you shooting at? Hello. Goodbye. Can you see it anymore? Nope. Let's send the tank over. You bloop. See anybody? Nope. Find the alien. There we are. So now we do the firing line thing again. Actually, can you land first? That might be better. Um. It costs too many time units, though. Just fire. Just fire. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do it. Mm -hmm. Yes. That was way off base, though. Ugh. Get a shot. Come on. Get a shot. Any shot. You don't want to get shot by the alien, do you? Maybe you should have landed first. That would make it more accurate. Whatever. We got the ammo. We got nine people. Okay. That takes us down to uh, eight or seven aliens. Um... Good. I feel happy. No one's died yet, right? Yeah, not on this mission. On the last mission, but that doesn't count. Out of sight, out of... killed in action roster. Oh, hello. So, I don't think anybody can shoot you. You seem to be right around the corner. Yeah, so we're just gonna have to wait for you to come out. 
let's set up some people with reaction shots ready to go. Oh, hello, we can see... that's bizarre. We see you through the window. Some sort of window somewhere. But it's good to have sight on aliens, even if you can't shoot them. Because you can keep track of them, and that's the important thing. And you were going to clear these barns, weren't you? Looks clear. Looks clear. You're going to clear this barn. Uh-oh. Good thing you're clearing these barns, huh? Good thing. And good thing you can almost shoot. I feel like C. Boreal is a fairly new recruit, all things considered, but you seem to be a, have been promoted. And probably get a promotion for that. You're a sergeant already. Great. And you have 60... 60... bravery, so that's good. Uh, oh, that brings us down to seven or six aliens. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Whoa. That plasma tank's feeling it, too. What do you see? What do you see? You're not even hurt. Okay, there's the alien again, and I don't think I'm going to wait for it to come around the corner. I'm going to bring the corner around to the alien. That's a common tactical maneuver. Bringing the corner around to the Germans is what won many battles for the Allies in World War II. Okay, down to six or five aliens. And of course, it's going to turn out this ship has like 20. Go figure. Because, hey, if I can pack up to 26 XCOM agents on the Avenger... Imagine how many aliens they can fit in their massive UFOs. <laughs> Didn't think about that, did you? Pretty nuts, huh? I actually don't know what the maximum amount of aliens. Some of the ships can get very, very big. And they can have a lot of aliens. And some of the terror missions can just be like, Oh my god, really? Did you send all these people just to terrorize Ohio? Like, seriously? Like, even Ohio doesn't care as much about Ohio as you apparently care about Ohio, Ohio having sent this many aliens to Ohio. But sometimes they terrorize legitimate places, like Tokyo, twice. And sometimes we fight back, like Tokyo, once. Or Brisbane. Or no, it was Canberra, wasn't it? I guess, you know, I just replace every Australian city in my mind with Brisbane. Alright, mate. I said Brisbane. That's the only Australian city I know about. I know some people in Australia. One of them sent me a kangaroo scrotum change pouch. It is a pouch made out of... Well, it's a pouch for holding stuff, maybe change. And it is potentially made out of a kangaroo scrotum. So that's one of my most prized possessions. Um, it is legitimately from Australia. Or at least it was shipped from my friend in Australia. I don't... Presumably he not he did not go to another country just to ship me a kangaroo scrotum change pouch. Um, so that's good. That's one of my most prized possessions. And that's that's a story about Australia for you guys. And this tank is just gonna fly. Fly away. Um, I do not condone killing kangaroos for their scrotums to harvest their scrotums um, for change pouches. It's just had had this. If people are gonna kill kangaroos anyways, I know they make kangaroo burgers and stuff. It's like don't let the scrotum go to waste, right? There's nothing worse in life than a wasted scrotum. Maybe two wasted scrotums or three wasted scrotums. Just the more scrotums wasted, the worse things are. Is just my general principle in life. You meet me on the street one day, you're like Tycho. Tell me something, and I'll be like, scrotums ought never to be wasted. And you'll cry from the beauty of that. That's just such a profound statement. If if everyone in the world could just agree, come together and agree that things like scrotum should not go to waste, we would just have a much nicer sort of thing. It's pretty much what John Lennon was saying in that song. Imagine all the people not wasting scrotums. It's easy if you try. Nothing to kill or die for. Yoko. Scrotum. 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 And so on, as I think how the song went. So, um, yeah, that's, um, scrotums and bagels have been kind of two top topics for these, for this Let's Play so far. Um, Maybe, maybe not the best topics, but, you know, that's how it works. So we're going to move in, get the jump on the aliens, 
get some people in these rooms. They got the time units. They got the they got the guns. They got the expertise. Nothing's gonna stop them, except potentially getting shot. I'm, I'm open to this as a possibility in terms of things to worry about. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're a tank. You're a tank. You're a tank. Suck my dick. I'm a tank. Um, and although the tank is not quite up to the task of scouting this farm on its own, this barn on its own, because it can't fit inside, I am going to retask C. Borelli to the UFO invasion. I figure the tank will just watch outside, and that's good enough. All right, save the game. Don't want any crashing shenanigans. And I think we actually have enough people in this room to start uh, the whoops entrance proper. Alien. All right, it's the bagel room. Get some shots in. Oh yes. Brilliant. Okay, and pull out. Good. And these two people get a bit closer, but not yet. You're done, you're done, you're done, you're done. Face this way. Get in here. You're a study person, but whatever. And you're over here. Oh, whoops. That's... well, okay. You need to land. You're too high. Oh, wow. Okay, no, I can see through the window up here. Hey, this is nice. Hey, Garvin Warrior, you're going to be a scout. You're just going to watch this alien on the... Uh, on the elevator and see what the alien does. What sort of dangerous machinations it gets up to. What do you see? What do you see, Hover Tank? You can't even fit in the little one space gap between the barn and everything, so can you see through the window? Yes, you can. So that looks clear. That looks fairly clear. I'm feeling fine. Hidden movement. Okay, what do you see? Do you see Higarin Warrior hitting? Nope. Okay, so the thing moved out of the elevator. Could have guessed that on my own. Hello. Um, I was about to say auto shot was overkill because these things die on one hit, but there were literally two floaters right there. That's amazing. Count Electric, you have a fucking kill count that is over, off the charts. You are going to get a medal. If you don't die. And I'm going to try to keep you alive. Um, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, maybe not my best, I'm gonna do a job. I'm gonna try and keep you alive, I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, do it again. Repeat performance. Nope. Okay, we'll just chill. Whoa! Somebody's shooting at something. That was weird. That sounded glitchy, so let's save the game. Um, okay, let's keep moving through. Did they shoot the door or something? Was that me? Whatever. So, last time we hung out in one of these rooms, um, somebody died. But in my defense, the it was the alien's fault, right? They pulled the trigger, right? The, the, re really, the responsibility lies with them. So, you should be blaming the aliens for any subsequent deaths of XCOM operatives. And I think that's only fair. Um, so, yeah, we're just gonna... Basically, my plan is to hope that we don't get a repeat performance with six people lined up, and Dave the Doom is just going to wait in the wings for now. With six people lined up, um, frankly, it's all like the aliens deserve it if they can kill someone like this. And in fact, it's going to be seven people lined up. See, Boreal is going to be watching from the door, and Hagarian Warrior is just going to descend, and then I realize that's maybe a bad idea, so you're going to ascend. Oh, hello, hello. That was that was almost a thing. But, uh, oh, fuck, I haven't been keeping track of aliens. I was down to six or five, and then we killed one, two, three, four. So we're down to two or one. Okay, two or one aliens potentially left. Here we go. So first step, Dave the Doom. Nope, can't use that gun. Haven't researched plasma rifles yet. <laughs> Ooh, but heavy plasma. Dave the Doom is no longer a pacifist. He's got some heavy plasma. He's going to go to town on the next alien he sees. And everybody else is going to move up a bit. Get some good angles on these doors. Mm, yeah. Angles. Doors. Bloop, bloop, bloop. 
And we have enough people in this UFO. Nobody else is coming in, otherwise it turns into a bit of a cluster. And I'm worried an alien's gonna walk into my line of fire, get killed on its turn, and then my game will crash, so we're saving. Do I see anybody? No. Do I see anybody? No. Do I see anybody? Nope. Setting up some firing lines, just straight up things, and look at this! Two UFO navigations. I bet this thing is gonna have a lot of delirium. Or maybe just a hundred, maybe they all come with a hundred, and it's just how much other gear do you salvage? Um, and yeah, at this point we sort of hope that the aliens don't have any grenades that they've got ready. Because if they do, we're going to have three, basically, XCOM agents uh, waiting in the wings in the domain, or in the big over. Good, no grenades. That's what I'm hoping. So it's going to be three per wing, and then three reserve in the bagel room is the plan. And the aliens are still doing stuff. I don't want you hover tank plasma. You can stop. Go away. Go away. Nobody wants you. Hmm. No aliens yet. Um... And look, there's no elevator here. So, I was wrong. Just one elevator in the entire ship. That seems kind of inconvenient for the aliens, right? If someone's using the elevator, you gotta be like, Hey man, hurry up in that elevator. And you're like, I'll be done soon, I'm just brushing my teeth. And you're like, why are you brushing your teeth there? Shouldn't you use the bathroom? And they're like, there aren't any bathrooms on the ship. And you're like, man, who designed these things? And then you realize that the floaters don't need the bathroom because they've had the lower half of their body genetically engineered away and replaced with an anti-gravity flotation device. Because the aliens are fucked up. We don't do that sort of stuff. XCOM does not condone unethical bodily modification on the part of our soldiers. We do not force anybody to remove the lower half of their body and replace them with gravity shit. We just, um... We, we do it to mice, obviously. Lab mice. But that's totally ethical. Because we said so. Because fuck mice, right? So, that's, that seems to be... <laughs> that seems to be the general idea in science. Fuck mice. Um, and fuck rats. Maybe sometimes fuck monkeys. But don't actually, don't actually fuck the monkeys. That's bad science. Just metaphorically. Fuck a monkey. So, we see an alien directly above us in the uh, elevator, so now it's time to try and shoot it. Sometimes this can be an awkward angle. Um, especially if you can't find the... there you are. Yeah, very awkward angle. You can see it, but you can't shoot it. So this is when Horus pulls out, and we wait for the alien to come down the elevator, and then we fuck it up. Except that didn't happen. So we're gonna have to go up and fuck it up. Count Electric, you're nominated. Hmm. Alien appears to have dope. Oh, there you are. Please don't die. Count electric, I mean. Well, that was great. Um, can you get out of there? Well, yep. Okay. Uh, next up, Horus Hero or Woodstock? Woodstock. Can you shoot from here? Nope. Can you shoot from here? Yes. This alien is doing pretty well, I gotta say. Um, he's a slippery one. So, next up, Horus Hero. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Hmm. Well, you're alive and uninjured, which is a miracle, but can you get out of the way? Yes. Okay. Um, Sir Lero, can you make it here? Nope. First you move, then you move. You have 66, you have 66, you're closer. Okay, here we go. Again. Alien destruction. That's better. Okay, this may be the end of the turn, end of the game, so, um, oh, what's my alien count down to? It's down to one or zero. 
So I'm going to stop recording, hit the end turn button, and see what happens. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, um, that was not the end of the turn. An alien shot at me, then it panicked, then it ran away. I'm not sure how much I got recorded on video, but um, basically I'm just chasing this motherfucker down. Floater leader, you just made your last floater lead. That was my catchphrase. And this looks clear. This is the command center, I suppose. This looks like a trash compactor. And this is probably the end, so... See you on the other side. Okay, just kidding, I hit the end turn button and the game kept going, so... Maybe that wasn't the floater leader? <laughs> maybe the floater leader panicked? Oh, hello. Floater leader, you've just floated your last lead. Okay, that was probably it, so... Um, save the game. And I'm about to hit the end turn button. That was... that was the last alien. Finished. 13 aliens killed. So, um... My count was way off. <laughs> um, because I started at 11 or 10. But, um... Whatever, we got a lot of alien alloy, a lot of Illyrium, some examination rooms, and they were doing alien abduction, I don't care, blah blah blah, nobody died, Proton got promoted, blah blah blah, you weren't even the person who killed like eight aliens. Excellent, 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 sell some stuff. Sell all these, sell all these, sell some of these, sell some of these. We got a lot of Illyrium in the bank, we got a lot of UFO power sources and navigations. Don't need any examination rooms really, don't need any of these. Guess rid of some of these. So this is looking sweet, and let's transfer some stuff to Americom. And I think we're at five million dollars. Um, oh, let's keep one. We just hired a person. So I think this will be the end of this episode. Join me next time when presumably this is all going to fall apart on me. <laughs>